Hey, what's going on guys? Goose here with another B-Brain light tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your arming and mode switches on a Tyrannus radio. First, you'll obviously need a Tyrannus radio. In this example, I'm using a Tyrannus X9D+, Plus, but this is gonna work basically the same thing as a QX7 as well, or even an x Lite. Grab your radio and turn it on. Welcome to Once you're on the model, you wanna set the switches on, go ahead and hit menu, then we'll hit page. This is gonna bring us through the pages. Hit page again, page again, page again, page again until you get to the mixer page, which should be six out of 13, at least on an X9D. And then you can see we have our channels of one through four right there, which is for our controls. And basically we wanna to go to the first available channel, which in this case is gonna be channel five. And we're gonna set that as our arming switch. So go ahead and hit enter after you have channel five highlighted. And then you can scroll down to the source. Now the source is whatever switch you're gonna assign it to. For my personal radios, I always like this switch up here to be the arming and disarming switch, but you guys can literally make it any of these switches that you want. So have the source highlighted, hit enter. You'll see it'll start blinking, and then we can select our switch by hitting it. So I'm gonna hit that. And you'll see SB has been changed for the source, which is this switch right here. And then you can hit exit after that, and that will save that. And then you can also name the switch, so I can just change it to arm. So I'll choose A, R, M, and that's my arm switch. When you're done naming it, you can hit exit, then scroll down to channel six. This is gonna be our mode selection switch. Scroll down to source, hit enter, and then you can select whatever switch. I like to use this three position switch so that I can use angle, horizon, and acro mode. So I'm gonna hit this just like this. You'll see that changes to SA, hit exit, and you can name this to mode. I'm just gonna leave it blank because it doesn't matter. And then we can exit out of that. Once you've finished assigning the modes on the radio, now we can go into Betaflight and actually select what modes go to the switches. Now we're at the computer with Betaflight set up. Go ahead and take your Acro BB Brain light, plug that into the computer. Also, turn your radio on, and obviously make sure it's bound already. After that's plugged in, go ahead and hit connect, and then go to the modes tab. And this is where we're going to assign the arm and mode switch. So first thing we're going to do is do the arm switch. So add range, and we're going to assign that to aux1 since we signed it to channel 5. And then um, you move your arm switch. I had this red one assigned. You can see it moves on aux1. So I'm going to assign it that when the switch is down, move this tab so that this little yellow marker right here that moves is in the highlighted area when I want it armed. So that looks good. And then now time for the uh, flight modes. So I wanna have angle, horizon, and air mode. So I'm gonna add range for angle mode. I'm gonna assign that to aux2, which is channel two for the second switch we assigned. So uh, technically channel six. Uh, and then I'm gonna move my mode switch. When it's in the up position, I want it to be in angle mode. So I'm gonna move this highlighted area over to where the little yellow marker is. Just kind of bring that in so it's a little tighter. And then I can add horizon mode. So when my switch is in the um, middle position, assign that to aux2 as well. Now it's on horizon. And then we'll do the exact same thing for air mode, but I'll move that all the way to the back and assign that for aux2 as well. So that way when I have the switch in the lowest position, it's in air mode. After that's all set up, go ahead and hit save. And you're pretty much it. Just Test to make sure your arming switch and your flight mode switch works. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.